We're up to the entry. You have to love yourself, right? We say after you have to love your neighbor as you love yourself. How can you love your neighbor if you don't love yourself? First, you have to love yourself, then you can love your neighbor. So he says it's normal for a person to love himself. Tesler, I love Hashem, used to say all the time. A person says, I love fish. I love to eat fish, right? But he says, I mean, really, if you love fish, you wouldn't kill and eat the fish. You would go and walk down the chupa with him, right? You would love the fish. So really, the answer is, you love yourself. You love to please yourself through the fish. So therefore, a person has to realize that really, at the end of the day, who do you love the most? You love yourself. And if a person wants to give, wants to love other people, he has to give a part of himself. You have to invest in others, and then you'll be able to love them. So you have to put a part of yourself in them. So that's why he says, you don't love, you don't give to who you love, you love to who you give. First you give, and you invest yourself in them, and then there's a part of you inside of them you can love. So therefore he says, the person automatically, he loves himself. According to this, if the person loves himself the most, what should he do? He should be take care of himself. He shouldn't hurt himself. He shouldn't damage himself, right? But what does the do? He convinces us to hurt ourselves. He convinces us to damage ourselves. He convinces us that it's okay not to take care of ourselves. Why? Because the Yitzhah tells us, do Averot. Can you imagine a person goes and he says, you see him slicing his arm, cutting himself. You see him drinking poison. You, you see him take a bottle of Advil and chugging the whole thing. He says, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're sick. You're, you're killing yourself. He says, no, no, no. It's okay. It's good for me. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Who cares you enjoy it? Stop it. You smack the bottle out of it. Are you normal? Are you sick? How come when the people do Averro, they do the same thing? They go and they're hurting their neshama. They go and cutting themselves. They go and they're killing themselves. They're drinking poison, spiritual poison. Why, is it, why don't they say they love themselves and stop themselves? Because they don't realize that the caution about it. We said on Shabbat, right? If you, somebody has a, a cup, right? He takes a cup and he tells the guy, here, this is a clean cup of water. Nine people said nothing happened to it, but one guy says there's poison inside. You would drink it? You wouldn't drink it. There's, there might be one, one, even one opinion says there's poison inside. I wouldn't drink it, right? So what happens? The whole world says, no, don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. Don't do mitzvot. Don't, do have it all. Everything's okay. But what? The one person, the Torah says, it's a sewer, it's spiritual poison. Why would you drink it? Even if one person says it's poison, you shouldn't drink it. So therefore, a person has to make sure that the Yitzhara shouldn't make him. He writes, Shemi, shote. The Yitzhara makes you shote. It makes you think what is poison is good for you. And what is good for you is poison. Don't do it. So therefore, a person has to make sure not to let the Yitzhara make himself come to me'abed, that's moladad. You can make it come to suicide, spiritual suicide, and you think you're doing good for yourself. So therefore, a person has to ask himself, do I really love myself? And if I love myself, will I am giving good to myself? He says, therefore, a person has to make sure that when he works, he shouldn't let money be something that damages himself, right? Because a lot of times people are willing to give up their health willing to give up their sanity, willing to give up their family life for their business, for their money. They get on the, the, the rat race, they get on the hamster wheel and they never stop running because they need more and more and more and more. It's like the, 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 the joke they make about the rabbit, right? You want the animal to run, so you put a stick on its back and you hang the carrot in front of him. So he always runs, he thinks he's gonna get the carrot, right? Same thing, the guy has a, the wad of cash with a stick hanging behind him, hanging. He's running, running, thinking he's gonna finally grab it and the end is never an end. So therefore what happens, a person can go 60 years, he can go 50 years working, working, he never says it's time to learn Torah, he never goes and stops and says, what's the point of all this? What am I doing this for? What about my Olam Abba? He doesn't, he just goes on autopilot. What happens, he's 60 years old, he's a babo, arbu stomach, he comes to the shul, doesn't know how to say Kaddish, he sits home after he's retired, doesn't know what to do with his free time, he yells at his grandkids, but well, well, that's all he does with his free time. Not Davai, Merik, Nardi, Grais, Davai, Prinisi. That's all he knows how to do. He doesn't know how to do anything else. Why? Because he didn't set aside time to, for his spirituality. He didn't set aside time about Allah Mabba. He didn't set aside time to even learn Hebrew. Why? Because he was busy work, 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 work. What is it worth it for? And then nothing. And then nothing. What, 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 what do you gain from it? Then and they, do you really enjoy it? You get tired of it? You already went to so many places. You already bought, you ate so much. You enjoyed so much. You, what do I take from it, from this world with me? So if a person has to make sure the Yitzhah doesn't trick him to fall into this trap of doing, doing, working, working, working. Because a lot of times you give yourself anxiety. You cut your years off your life. You give yourself stress. The stress goes to you, goes to your family. You fight with people over money. You fight in the, in the community over money. You fight with your you, yourself over money. You can't sleep at night. So a person has to make sure that you shouldn't let this mitzvah of making parnasah become the reason why you go to your grave early or why you go and you fight with your family or you go and you destroy your olam abba. So therefore a person has to make sure that if you really love yourself, you'll push away any damaging thing from yourself and rather you'll bring the bracha, which is the mitzvah.